You are now watching the Witch Reef Live. Otis Brister was good. Chat, we're watching Judge Mathis today, and we're watching a man that was assaulted with a bag of fried chicken. I don't know what that means, but it, it jumped out at me and I'm, I clicked on it. If you see two big men, they both are oversized men, and the title of the video says one of them was assaulted with a bag of fried chicken, you have to see what that means. You have to. Don't judge me for wanting to figure out what this is about, but it, it's interesting. Good friends with the defendant, but one night while drinking, he broke Otis's TV, and then he assaulted him with a bag of fried chicken. And he has the video to prove it. He's suing for the assault and the damaged TV. How would you have that on, on footage? Before I even hear what they talking about, I want to see this footage. What do you mean you have it? What do they have on footage? Low key, I need to see what they talking about. I guess we just got to watch it to find out. Defendant Eldrick Steele says Otis is a good friend, but he's also a pathological liar. Eldrick denies breaking Otis's TV, and although he did hit him with a bag of chicken, he insists Otis instigated the fight. He's countersuing for defamation of character and the cost of food. All rise. This court is now in session. Oh, yeah. The Honorable Judge Greg Mathis presiding. Judge Mathis is still doing this. For what I mean, reason? I'll be seated. That empty courtroom, what is the point of them being there? They only got three people. <laughs> what is the I'll point of that? Uh, Your Honor, I've been knowing Adri for almost a year now. Um... Green hair, he looked like Luigi Judah. I've been knowing him for a year now. You know, he was like my best friend. Um, every time I needed him, you know, he always was the one that I can go to in, and he always was the one that was there for me. When I needed him the most, he was there for me financially, spiritually. He was just always that friend that I can count on and that I can run to, you know, when I needed him. So uh, it was this one particular night, you know, Andrew also have a drinking problem, Your Honor, you know, but when we normally together, he normally can't control his drinking. So, um, but you know, I still loved him because like, he's he's like a friend to me, you know, God brought him into my life. Great I didn't know that. Um, well, you know, I, 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 I God brought him into my life and this man gonna say, how do you know that? I've never heard nobody question that. I've never heard that. I've never heard that. I'm going to be honest. I've never heard that. No God brought him in my... Him. Yes. Uh, yes. <laughs> yes. It would make you think God wanted you to well, want him to beat you out your money. At the time, at the time, Your Honor, God brought him in, in my life because he is a good person. He got a good heart. What did he do for you other than steal your money? Oh, you know, he, he was always just, you know, that friend. He was always that friend that, you know, you know, because I lost my grandma, you know, and he was always that friend that uplift me, encouraged me, you know. He was always just that friend that I just can go to when okay. I needed him. Got you know it. what I'm saying? So, you know, before this even happened, that's when I said that I, this guy brought him in my life because everything it was going perfect. Comfort you. Yes, All right. yes. Not he, to steal from you. Right. Yes, because sir. Because you're stealing about that. Right. It was this one particular day, you know, uh, where, you know, me and Edra, we loved to eat. You know, I cook up some collard greens, some cornbread, neck bones, and black eyed peas. And you know, cause you know, we just love to eat. I love to eat that. And, and yes, yeah. <laughs> and we, we just love to eat. So, you know, he Those came. Turkey neck bones. <laughs> So uh, he came with a big glass of wine, you know, and I'm like, oh, Lord, I hope this man don't get too drunk. So, um, you know, the vibe was good. You know, we would listen to some music on my TV and everything. We just was lit. We was turned up, mm -hmm. you know, and, um, and so uh, this one particular song came on, you know, uh, like everybody turned up, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, we just was turning up and next thing you know, an earthquake. He was moving like an earthquake and boom, he broke my TV. Oh, I thought you were telling me there was an actual earthquake. Where do you all live? Like, I, we live in Atlanta. Okay. May as well have earthquakes in Atlanta. Yes, yes. The way yes. they're shaking it. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> he broke my TV, you know, and, and uh, once he broke my TV, he omitted it. He, he omitted Reese got us watching the clumps in court. Shut up and listen. He admitted that he broke it. All right. Let me hear from you. Give us some background, young man. Well, Otis is a great friend. 
He is a great friend, but Otis is also a pathological liar. I mean, the devil brought him into yeah, your yeah, life. Yeah, so he, he is most definitely God brought you into liar. his life, the devil brought him into yours. Had to. So Otis, <laughs> Otis, Otis lies a lot on other people, but I would have never thought in a million years that he would lie on me. Mm -hmm. That night that we all was drinking and things of that nature, it wasn't just me there. It was a few other people there. When I drink, I never get to the point where I'm not aware of my surroundings and I'm not aware of the things around me. I am very materialistic as well, so I would never break nobody else's TV. <laughs> so I, I just so can't what see did happen? I just can't see. He was... He, he lied, Your Honor. He brought up to me that he wanted another TV. And he was talking about he wanted a bigger TV for months. For so months, I see he for months, he wanted, lying, he, he wanted that TV bad. You lying! So, uh, he wanted that TV bad, what is and going I on? know that that was so probably the perfect. You're saying that he's making this up. He wanted this TV so bad that he thought that that was the perfect night to know that I wasn't going to be aware of my surroundings. You said you're I always was... aware of your surroundings. Yeah, that, that, yeah, that's what I'm saying. So evidently, he thought I wasn't aware of my surroundings. So that's why he feel like that night was the perfect night for it to scam Tell me how it went when you Judge, it was food. just only me and him. Life. Cause you know I told you what I cooked some cornbread, collard green neck bones, and black eyed peas. <laughs> what? And I invited him and he came with a big glass of wine. And he started doing an earthquake and my TV broke. What I got a lie for? What did you see happen? Sir. You saw him bump into it while y'all were dancing? Yes. Doing an earthquake. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm talking, we was lit, you know, we was doing an earthquake and my TV broke. Jamming and everything and doing an earthquake. You know, next thing you know, he bumped into it, jamming and everything. My TV broke. And it break because my TV is right, on the so shelf. So what did you say to him at that time? Uh, at the time that he broke it and everything, I told him, I, I know that you drunk, but you got to buy me another TV. And, you know, we came to the conclusion that he agreed to buy me another TV because he bumped into it. You know, we communicate. He communicated with me. We came to an understanding and an agreement that he broke my TV and he was going to buy me. What he said. That don't make no sense. How is both of y'all stories completely different that other people is there? How is a, one person saying other people is at this event and he's saying it's just them two eating and drinking and listening to music? How is that being left out of one story that don't make sense and today today he's saying you set him up yes. and that you had to you put the overlay down for two months ahead yes and the... start acting oh i wish i had a tv oh this is a terrible tv and since he didn't respond to that you set him up i didn't set nobody that's up that's what he's saying I, I didn't set nobody up judge he I, he... I didn't set no the devil that's a lie you ain't gonna lie look at his goofy ass up in here he you ain't gonna lie up in he here that tv bad do you hear me your honor judge i don't he... have to lie about no tv he a Agreed that he was gonna buy my TV because he broke it. Now you know he a grown man because you know because at the, the, the time at the time he had responsibility and he agreed the res of the responsibility that, that that he broke my TV. Plain oh fuck a duck! I hit the wrong button. Doing an earthquake. With a bag of fried chicken. Yeah, where the fried chicken And he come has from? the video to prove it. Yeah, where the fried chicken? The issue here, one of them, is whether there was more than one person there. Right. There was more than one person there. G give me the initials, maybe. Who? If, even if you don't want to use them? their name. Kiki. She Kiki, was who else? <laughs> so, who who else? Else? She, was, she was one of them. I know I wasn't that drunk. There were people there. I don't know if he hid them to plot only on me for to get the TV. Judge, when, you can call Kiki. I, I don't know I, if he hid him. the people. I am the type of person, if my friend come to me and my friend asked me to buy him a TV, I would have brought him a TV. But taking me to court, this is just delusional. Like, I really don't think nobody else is there. Because what you mean he hid Kiki? How you just hide a person? What are you talking about? Hey, you wanted a TV that bad. You could have had my TV. I could have took it off the wall and Did brought it down. Did he ask you about the TV the next day? He he never said anything else about the TV until he started calling my phone. He called, I be busy a lot. How long after that evening did he call you about the television? The he, next day. The, he might, yeah, he called and the And what did you say? I didn't agree on buying a TV. What did you say? I told him, I don't know what happened. And you know, there was other okay. people there. Did so. you ever? He sound guilty. Peter agreed to buy one. This, I never. Never. I said I can if tell you, you exactly what But happened. I did tell him if he wanted a TV, I would buy him a TV. 
I said, if you want another TV, I will buy you a TV. You but did. I didn't break a TV. You mean you didn't agree to yeah. replace what you allegedly broke? Yes, sir. You said, I'll get you a TV, but yeah. I'm not replacing anything because I didn't break anything. And I also want That's him to check said. with everybody else there. You what? I wanted him to check with everybody else there first. You don't only want to see anybody and else there. Nobody wasn't there but you. In so, your honor, he just went ghost on me. He lying already about that. What else is he lying about? Breaking the TV. So it seemed like he broke it. He went ghost on me. I told him about my TV. He disagreed that uh he disagreed that he was gonna buy, buy my TV. He disagreed. You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to church. I'm praying. You know what I'm saying? I'm praying that's a God to come through. Next thing you know, I received a call a week later. He agreed that we was gonna meet in a park in Atlanta. You thought that was God bringing him back? Yes. Remember God that brought him the first time? Yes. Then I guess he left when he wouldn't get that TV. Yes. Then God brought him back. Yes. Yeah, and what happened God. at the park when God brought him back? God must have put some sense in his head when he told me that he was going to buy my TV and we was going to meet at the park. So you, so, you know, he told me a set time when we was going to meet at the park. So I'm excited. I'm like, yes, you know, God, thank you for bringing some sense in his head. Because, you know, he was always a good person. But I just never, you know, I just never, you know, felt the need that he allowed to my face. Because, you know, that was my friend. That was my ace. That was my best friend. Yeah. We've been friends for almost a year. And you're going to lie to This man just said a year like that was a long ass time. I swear to goodness. My face about my TV? Oh no, I don't get down like that. So at the time, you Did know. You play videos or something no. on your TV? Uh, no, no, no. Did I, you watch one of the Housewives shows? Uh, I watch you. I be watching oh, you. Oh yeah, that's enough to get mad about. All yeah. right, I'm with you. I was and, wondering and why you're so mad. I, you I said, well, maybe he got some big important shows he has to watch. Yeah, and I own the guy. I love you. <laughs> so you we know, can, we... you can forget about this. Doc. <laughs> we over now. We can end this now. <laughs> Uh, go ahead. Sir. So, you know, we was at the park. We was at the park, you know, he agreed that he was gonna meet me. I'm calling his phone, Judge. He ain't showing up. I mean, he, he ain't picking up or nothing. So, you know, at that time, I'm getting frustrated because I'm like, ain't no way you had me to come to that park and, and you ain't showed up. So I'm constantly calling his phone. Uh, the, hold on, on. The Lord had him on the way and you start cursing the Lord? You know, I ain't start cursing the Lord. I just start having, you know, I, I, I just start having doubts. What? You know what I'm saying? You doubted the Lord? Yeah, I started just having doubts, but my faith was always there. All right. My faith was long, always long there. So, that. All right. Don't judge, lose your faith. I called him and everything. He found an answer. Otis, why you calling me? Otis, why? And you know why I'm calling you. You broke my TV. You agreed that you was going to. He was going to come in to watch TV with the new TV was going to be delivered. Uh -uh, I judge. bet you you started some stuff before the TV could even get delivered that day uh -uh. to the park. Judge. He was making it special. Uh -uh. I just needed my money. I needed my money, Judge. You bring and your so, TV. Yes, I brought my phone now and I recorded because I just knew something was finna go down. He bringing a box of TV when he's supposed to bring me my $400. So the thing is, so he walking up. Otis, why you calling my phone and everything? I brought you some chicken. I told him, I don't want no chicken. I don't want no chicken. Why you gonna bring me some chicken? I want my $400. So he, 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 he hit me with the chicken. He assaulted me with the chicken. And judge, I got the video. Because I got 38 hot. You don't hit me with no chicken. I'm from Mississippi. I'm from Quick Atlanta, Quick Atlanta. That's, a, that's a sin in Mississippi. <laughs> I think yeah. that's, what is happening, man? Talk to me I with think the that's chicken. A sin. The so chicken in Mississippi. Can I? Can I? Can I go? All right. Can I go? Just man, right? I the you video. all right? Got... Where is the video of him hitting the chicken? The video. But Mississippi. So the thing is, so he walked. I don't. Don't give us a don't commercial you... break. Give yeah. us the chicken. Oh, yeah. How dare you do me like that? Were well, you supposed to be my friend? Go let the devil come between our relationship. Loud for no reason. I'm living like I'm dirty hot we because here. ain't no way. Ain't no way you gonna do me like this. We was always there for each other and everything. And you gonna lie to me about a $400 TV? The you is, gonna lie to me? The thing is, I was going to, I was <laughs> coming to replace his TV. But the thing that Otis said to me on the phone before I got there, I wouldn't have told my dog the things that Otis said. Ain't nothing in the world. You said I was your friend and God brought you to your brought me into your life. Ain't no way I would've told my friend the things that Otis was saying to me. What I say? You say I can't even see it. It's so bad. Judge, tell that. Him. Oh my goodness. What I say? You can use the initials. You don't have to say the actual yeah, curse I can't, word. Yeah, I cannot see it. You know what you said. He talked about my face, called me bumpy face and things like that. And you know, I talk to him a lot about like, I don't be want to post some days because my thing. skin gets bad or something like that. 
And he he even said it on the video. He said something about my skin. I did. And that's why and that's, that's what got you popped with the chicken. And um <laughs> So that's assault. You gonna hit me with the chicken because I, I bought your boat. Oh, this is because I never seen you turn down chicken. You could eat chicken. I wish I could have got it raw. You better be glad it was cooked when I brought it to you. Andrew, I don't want I no chicken when it comes to $400. Then you try to take I was gonna replace the TV. I, I told you I didn't break the TV. You did break my you, TV, Andrew, because you, you agreed that you, you was got gonna... multiple TVs in the house. You could have went and got one. Andrew, I only got one TV. You know, I only got two more TV, Andrew. Ooh, and that's in the living room. What's his so name? So you would have broke the rest of them, too. No, I only oh, got okay, one yeah. TV, Andrew. For real, I only got one TV, Judge. You got one TV now. Well, I only got one TV. I wish I could invite you to my house because he think this a joke. This is not a joke. I'm 38 hot and I need my $400. It's my money and I need it now. Clown AD just subscribed. That's Buddha B. Reese if he keeps eating those Philly cheesesteaks. Shut up, man. Judge, if he... I, I need my money now. If he invites you to his house, I don't need go. my money, Judge. Because, Judge, you will be on the new TV next week. Yes. Okay, good. No, you do sound like a preacher. You got that energy. Yes, God have anointed me. I got a gift. And, I, and, and I'm using it on, 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 on the stove. Well, you certainly had the energy. I'm not going to try to ridicule that the way you're talking because you talk strongly about your faith and you talk like a preacher and you get heated hot. like like you're giving a sermon. So he need, I need my money. And he need a sermon and you're giving it to him and the rest mm. of us. Let's see what we have. My money. Because you, you kept calling my phone today about the same thing. I don't play with him. Why is you recording me? Man, I need my money. You just bought my TV. I, I need my phone. I don't I want no chicken. I tried to apologize for you and stuff like that, but now you piss. You piss. Man, you got all the books on your face. Oh! He Man, you got all the books on your face. He hit me hard, Judge. He hit, I had to go to the hospital. He hit me hard. You see how he assaulted me with that chicken? I'm not gonna let y'all go no further with this chicken junk. Uh, I never seen him turn down chicken. Even I just told y'all I'm done with this like, chicken. He, he, I'm not he, gonna no, do I'm this anymore. Fire. I'm not gonna let you embarrass yourselves, okay. your family, your community, nor me. He talking about eat bone, Judge. I do eat the bone, though. But, but, I'm talking about my TV. So I mean, I ain't the guasa. The bone was fresh. I ain't the bone, the guasa, all that. But I ain't talking about no chicken. I'm talking about my $400. Stop talking about chicken, the judge say. We talking about the $400. I need my $400. Oh, X Fresco Levine X just subscribed. And his 400 I don't care what you say. I need my Going to the hospital for getting hit by KFC is crazy. That's what happened. Hey, bye. Oh! The whole KFC logo on the camera. He hit me hard. Look at the jerk. Ain't nothing even funny, you goofy ass. You out here hitting people with chicken. Say what you want and be mad as you want. I'm giving this man his 400. What else you want? In 2000, he assaulted me with What's the chicken. What's that for? Assault to Nason. I had to go to the hospital. Assault. Yes. Do you have a doctor's? Yes, I have I have Are you, you, you went to this doctor for real? Yes. What page is that on? <laughs> I don't even want to go and revisit that bird, but what did you tell? Did you actually tell the doctors that happened? Yes, I did. Lord. You're right. I'm saying, because when, when he hit me with the chicken, I had to go to the hospital because you know I don't got no neck. I only got hands. The way he swing that bag Reese need him on MLB. When he hit me with the chicken, I had to go to the hospital because you know I don't got no neck. I only got hair and soda. But we, so I had to go check on my neck too. It, it's fine. Andrew, no, I we didn't, didn't, you ain't no talk. I need my money, Judge. We didn't get a chance to eat. Look at eat, me. We didn't get a chance Look to eat. at me. <laughs> so I had to go check on my shoulder and my neck. <laughs> he said, Look at me. What page did the doctor's uh, evaluation? <laughs> You have the doctor's report or evidence that you went to the doctor. What page is that on? <laughs> Look at me. <laughs> what page, sir, <laughs> is the doctor's information? I don't see it. On, I don't see it. You went. Uh, okay, play. No, I don't see anything about a doctor. I told you was a liar. I left it, Anna. Uh, I left it. Yeah. Dude with green hair is the it. Hercules boy from Clump but Family what did you Dinner. Say happened. You do it mid in the hitting because. Oh yeah, I almost definitely. I'm looking at. I almost definitely clocked him with the bird. 
because he I've seen him eat raw, um, baked, fried, uh, boiled. And that had to do it in the thing. What's your kind of claim for? He loves chicken, so. Why, what, what made you turn the chicken? Why are you still talking about chicken, man? Chicken now, that day. What was so special about that day? He just told you. What? $400. $400. That I was, was coming special. to replace his TV with and things that he didn't even give me chance well, you to you should have came with chicken it, in one hand and a TV in the other. You better say it, Joe. But he could have been on the back seat. He didn't give me chance. But you lied to me. And Joe, why I got to pay for the chicken when he throws the chicken at me? Why do I got to come out of my pocket to refund him for something that that's he throws to me? That's part of your me? lawsuit. But yeah, that's part of my lawsuit because the chicken was brought for him to eat and he should have ate it. I most definitely clocked him with the bird because he... I, I, Kev, we gotta get to the bottom of this. Who wins the case? I don't believe that. You know I don't believe that mess. <laughs> I will grant you one hundred dollars. How about that? One hundred dollars. Yes, one hundred dollars for putting you in a bad light. <laughs> All right, but most folks know y'all would fight over chicken anyway, so they ain't put you in too much of a bad light. So yours is one thousand four hundred dollars, and yours is one hundred. But let me tell you something. Don't you ever wait. So the so wait. Wait, 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 what? He got to pay 1400 and the other guy got to pay $100? What is going on? Where did that come from on the TV? He said he wanted $400. Where'd he get 1400 So yours is $1,400, and yours is 100 But let me tell you something. Don't you ever, mm -hmm. I'm going to let you finish that. <laughs> Don't you ever assault me with another piece of chicken. Do you hear me? <laughs> yeah, I couldn't say it like that. He said it. I got That's you. how I wanted to say it. So I you understand? Time to claim one hundred dollars. Thank care. you, Your Honor. Yes, sir. I guess justice got served. I don't know. Hey, let me let me tell you something. Cause we both know that you got me up here. You wanna have me looking like a fool up here? You lying mother. You don't you ever in your life? Look at his bald headed ass in the back. Look at his bald headed ass. Look at this man. What is going on in this courtroom? Why is he acting like that? You wanna have me looking like a fool up here? You lying mother You don't you ever in your life say to me. What in the world, man? Looking like Reese in the back. That don't look nothing like me. Shut up. He said that look like Reese in the back. Shut up, man. Make somebody want to smack your head clean off, you sick. When there's nothing. Reese, when he's flabbergasted. Shut up. Ay, 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 ay. Hmm. I wish that y'all could get serious. Check the comments of that video. Open. I don't want to. They're sick. Doing an earthquake in my TV, bro. What I got a laugh for?